Good evening. We're glad you're with us tonight. Governor Mary Fallon signs the emergency rules to establish the framework for medical marijuana in Oklahoma. But marijuana proponents aren't happy about the rule outlawing smokable pot from dispensaries. And as our Sylvia Corkill explains, that includes a stage four cancer survivor who claims he would have died without it. Sylvia? Bobby Kelly, that's right. The Oklahoma Cannabis Trade Association, along with Oklahomans for Health, say those changes that were made yesterday go against the spirit of the law. They say until those details are ironed out, Oklahomans who need that drug will continue to die. Everybody that dies that could be treated with cannabis from now until we get this moving is on their heads. That's a sentiment shared by many in the room today, including Oklahomans for Health member Ray Jennings. But it wasn't that long ago that Ray was on the other side of the fight. Well, I was totally anti-drug, no drugs, didn't believe in it. I thought if you were smoking pot, you were a loser. But four years ago, that all changed when he was diagnosed with stage four mouth cancer. They said, you know, the, the treatment that requires you to fight this is probably going to kill you if the cancer doesn't first. And it almost did. Three months of uh, cisplatin chemo and 35 radiation treatments. Horrific experience. I lost 95 pounds in less than 90 days. Ray spent most of his days vomiting and unable to eat or even swallow. I took every nausea medicine known to man. Every intravenously, pills, cream, you name it, I took it. None of it worked. On the brink of death and with nothing to lose, Ray says he finally gave in to his family's pleas to turn to marijuana. And let me tell you something. I smoked a little bit out of a pipe. Within minutes, I felt my whole body calm down. Now, if I had to do an edible or whatever form to take it in besides smoking, it would have never worked for me. Now, at the time of his illness, Ray says he was also fortunate enough to have a house in Colorado. He says had that not been the case, he wouldn't be here today. Live on the scene on the story from the Oklahoma State Department of Health, Sylvia Corkill, News 9. All right, Sylvia. Now